Another question, what is DHCP? Well, DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. It assigns TCP IP information automatically to client computers. For example, IP addresses, net masks, the gateway address that the computer will need to leave the network, and also the DNS server IP. It's defined in RFC 2131. Now, I mentioned before that we're going to be working mostly with IP version 4 in this course, and so it stands to reason that we're going to work with DHCP version 4. That is defined in RFC 2131. Let's take a look at that for a moment. And you'll find that at the rfc-editor.org website, slash RFC, and then the name of the RFC, in this case, RFC 2131. So this gives you all the details you want to know about DHCP. And you'll note that there's some updates here. These are add-ons to this protocol, but currently this is the main RFC. And an RFC is short for request for comments, which means that it's going to describe everything and then there can be additional comments to it as well. But this is really our description here for the DHCP protocol. Definitely check this out when you get a chance. It's very in-depth, but for now we'll just describe DHCP a little bit. DHCP 4 uses ports 67 and 68 by default. This is for IP version 4. So if we look here, here we have a DHCP server. That's the device that's going to hand out IP addresses to clients on the network. You can see that it has port 67 inbound, open. That is the default open port for DHCP servers. So it's listening for inbound connections from DHCP clients. On the left-hand side, we have a DHCP client. It has port 68 open outbound. And basically what happens is when you turn on the client, it will broadcast out to the network in an attempt to find a DHCP server and hopefully obtain an IP address automatically. DHCP employs a four-step process known as DORA. DORA is the acronym. Okay, so a four-step process, and here's what those letters stand for. Discovery, offering, request, and acknowledge. So let's talk about that four-step process for a moment. The DHCP client has no IP configuration to start, and you don't want an admin configuring it statically or manually. You want to be able to just turn on the computer and have it obtain IP addresses and other information automatically from a DHCP server. And that's how most DHCP clients are configured by default. If you buy Windows 11 or if you have a Linux Debian client, it'll be set to obtain an IP address automatically. That's the default setting. So when you first boot up that system, it's going to broadcast out to the network in an attempt to find a DHCP server. That's known as the discovery stage. Once found, and most likely there will be a DHCP server there somewhere, once found, the DHCP server will offer a particular IP address to the DHCP client. The DHCP server will have DHCP software, and it will have a range or scope of IP addresses that it can pick from to hand out to the client computers. How this is set up will depend on the software. It might pick them numerically or it might pick randomly. It depends on the DHCP software you're using. But ultimately, it's going to pick one and offer that to the client. In most cases, the client will want that IP address. Sometimes it might not. It depends on a couple different factors. But generally, and more often than not, it will request that very IP address from the DHCP server. The DHCP server will then say, okay, it'll write that to its DHCP table, write that information down, and then it'll say, okay, we are assigning you this IP address, and we're going to acknowledge that, and you may start using that IP address now. 
How does it know what system is asking for the IP address? Generally, it's gonna know by the MAC address of the DHCP client, and we'll talk more about that later. And it writes both those pieces of information to the DHCP list. But anyways, it acknowledges that the client can now use that IP address, and that TCP IP configuration is written to the client now the client can communicate with other systems on the IP network. So that's the four-step process. Discovery, offering, request, and acknowledgement. That's the four-step process known as DORA. So we're gonna demonstrate exactly this when we configure a Debian server to use a DHCP-based IP address later in the course. But for now, to summarize, DHCP is an automated way of assigning IP addresses and other TCP IP information to computer clients.